This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. I'm here today with me, I've got professional boxer Tony Owen. How are we doing, Tone? Yeah, all good, mate. You? Also joined by boxing coach Adam Martin. What's happening, Adam? Right? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks, James. Good. Uh, firstly and foremost, Tom, we've seen an announcement. Your long-awaited ring return is happening. Talk to me a little bit about, about your return, please, mate. Well, um, obviously, after the Rick fight, um, I sort of knocked it on the head, had the year out. Um, to be honest, I weren't really thinking about boxing again. Um, and then Ad got hold of me, said to um, maybe try a few sessions with him and that, see how we get on. And, uh, yeah, just started getting the feel for it back. And, um, yeah, we're going on the 18th of April. So, looking forward to it, mate. I mean, we last saw you out, as we spoke about, in a, in a great, really domestic, domestic dust-up with Ricky Boylan. Fantastic fight and crowd-pleasing fight to watch. Yeah, yeah. Having looked back on that performance, what, what do you take back from, away from that? Um, more, more discipline from on me, really. I mean, um, I, didn't, I didn't stick... To, well, I stuck to the game plan for three rounds and then uh, got dragged into the fight, um, at, which, was, which was my own fault. So um, obviously bear that in mind for future fights. And yeah, just stick to a game plan. I mean, you've been Southern Area champion. You, you love a domestic, a domestic tear up. We've seen you in action with some local rivals, Ricky Boylan and Danny Connor, um, back to back fights as well. Do you feel as if now you, you're looking to step up an, another level coming back time? So you'll be looking to step up your sparring, step up your nutrition and, and get, get the ball rolling positively? Um, yeah, obviously I've had the southern area. I wouldn't say no to that again, but um, after having that, I would I would obviously like to go further. Um, I've completely changed teams. Um, obviously, my nutrition and uh, strength training's dealt with from um, Dan Yachfano from Light to Lift, and obviously I've been working with Adam now. Um, and I just think the whole refresh has um, done me the world of good, to be honest. And yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to going further than before. Adam, if I can bring you in, sir. It's been a little while since we caught up. First and foremost, how have you been keeping, mate? Yeah, I'm fine. Really good. Everything's good. Thanks. Working with Tony, um, what what made you want want to a, convince him to get back into the ring, and what what did you see you you could turn around in, in what he's doing? Um, Tony, I think we just started off training to see how it goes at first. A little bit of training. We were training. Like, he's very committed, dedicated. We were training like six o'clock in the morning before he went to work, and he always turned up. And he's so fit. He's one of the fittest kids. Like he's, he was fit anyway when he come back. He's unbelievable, his fitness. Um, yeah, and he just wanted to have another go. And he's definitely capable. I mean, um, he's very talented. So, so we're going for it. Good southpaw, good boxer, Tony. As well, well, highly rated as well amongst a lot of the local lads. As I said, what, what do you think he needs to improve on going from here? And what, what do you think will make him a better fighter? Uh, we've been working on a few things, uh, a few defensive things. Tony always had really high work rate. Uh, so that was about it, really. <laughs> no, no, not at all. But no, we've been working on a few things, little things, you know what I mean? But Don't give it's, much away. it's all you know coming I mean? together, yeah, it's all coming together. And he's doing really well. So you're back in action at the Canham Centre on the 18th. Um, any, any news on opponent? Um, obviously... We see quite a different mix of opponents at these shows and stuff. Is it going to be someone from here? Is it going to be someone from abroad? What, what's the plan? How do you pronounce his name? Don't ask me that. Don't yeah, it's a badge trucker. He's the welterweight Hungarian champion. Um, it's, quite, it's quite a good, tough test for my first one back. For anyone I've had over a year out. Um, he's, t he's had 28, 118 of them. Um, comes to win. He struggles when he steps up in class. So it's a good... It's a good tell me where I am sort of thing getting back. Um, I should be able to deal with him. Well, I'm not. I know I'm going to deal with him. Um, but I just want to look good doing it and use this to obviously push me on. Rather than having, rather than having a fight against a, someone that's won three, lost 50, something like that, that I just blow out, that's going to do me no, no good in the long run. I've had a couple of them. I've boxed at a higher level. So um, we've like, had looked carefully at an opponent for me, yeah, and we think this is the right step. Well, listen, with these Hungarians, you never quite know what you're going to get. So we look forward to fight night. As I said, thank you for giving RFL TV a bit of time. And first, if I was letting us know what, what's been going on, because we ain't seen you for a little while. So it's, it's really do appreciate you giving us a bit of time. No, cheers, James. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Um, can I just say thank you as well to my um, sponsors, uh, Surrey Steels. Obviously, like at our level, well, any level, sponsors really help out, uh, make a difference. And they just helped out making the training a bit easier for me, stuff like that. So I really appreciate it. 
thank you to Surrey Stills. No, yeah, thanks to Surrey Stills as well. They, they help out of all the boxes. They're brilliant. And that's about it. Thanks for giving a bit of your time. I really do appreciate it. And we'll catch you again real soon.